this is a comic book haul. Now, I have one item from eBay, and the rest are from Comic Asylum, Palm Desert, all the way in California. This is a massive, massive comic book haul stack. Let's get on into this. First one up is Spider-Man Unlimited. Issue 3, first printing of July 2004. For myself, I was going on to my last year of high school. All four years were almost to an end, and I just had no idea about this book for myself. I was more of a comic book fan in the sense of animation uh, and movies than the comic books. I had a few comic books here and there. Uh, I had definitely quite a few Spider-Mans. Uh, Spider-Man the Unlimited TV show that only got one season. I really hope that they had, you know, granted that another season. Because I watched that all the way through uh, on TV. And next up we have issue 5 of Boom Studios. This is a book that has, uh, as uh, Fire Guy Ryan from Comic Tom's 101 YouTube channel. This is basically like... Uh, Boom Studios version of uh, Marvel's version of Wolverine and I like to add to Fire Guy Ryan because this is basically to the caveman days this is like DC's somewhat version of uh, Vandal Savage so this is issue 5 like I said alright moving on Continuing with Boom Studios, we have Eat the Rich. Don't remember getting this book on my um, uh, comic list. I really don't think I have issue one or two. So I'm hoping it's a first appearance or like the first telling of one of these three people or more. We'll find out. Next up, we have On to Image. We have two different issues of Radiant Black. We have issue 9 and issue 8. Now this is definitely seems like to me an homage to either or both Spider-Man um, and Uncle Ben and Superman and um, uh, his father both from, both from Krypton and from Earth. So we have issue 8 here and we have issue 9. Definitely uh, like in the series, next up we have a trade paperback of Noctara Volume 1. This is the this is Full Throttle Dark from Image Comics. Now I was very happy to get this book. Uh, I do have a few issues. I even have a second printing of, I think, Issue 3. Definitely been enjoying the series. Didn't think I would. I tried not to go for, you know... Um, like this says Scott Snyder uh, on it, uh, and I try not to go for what directors or you know very popular artists and writers. I try to go for something I might like, and immediately when I saw this front cover and after I read issue one, I was like, I'm hooked. Whether it was Zack Snyder, Scott Snyder, Neil Adams, you know. It was just, I got hooked on it. Alright, from there we have IDW issue 8, cover A of Transformers Beast Wars. Now, I am loving this series that has come out, and it's actually uh, has this little nugget right here cele uh, celebrating 25 years of Beast Wars. So that is issue 8, and not stopping there, I got issue 9, cover A. Of Transformers Beast Wars as well. Look at that. That is actually sweet. I don't. I haven't read this issue, and I'm hoping, uh, like, like I would like to see more of just this character in general because to me this looks cool. This is like this looks like a transformed version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the second movie almost. 
If you remember, if you know that reference, hit me up in the comments and tell me you know, you know. All right, next up we have issue four from IDW of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Last Run. Now, unfortunately, I've only read the first issue, uh, the promo issue, and then the first issue. I have not read two, three, or four, but speculation of who is the main turtle is something I've been trying to avoid on the YouTube front. But sometimes when you listen to Comic Tom and Fire Guy Ryan, Ryan started the fire. Every time I hear that, you know, I immediately want to sing it. Even though I have not seen or don't recognize the reference when they talk about it, uh, when it's a, apparently it's clearly a The Office uh, thing. I don't know. Going onward to DC Comics. This is book two of DC's Black Label. This is Batman the Imposter. Now, I gotta make sure, and there's another reason why I am both doing this video, I am also in the sense of publisher. Uh, so this one, for instance, will be part of DC Comics, but it'll also be a subsection that will say DC Comics Black Label. I will not be putting it with just the Batman title. It would be DC Comics, DC Comics Black Label, and then under the Bs, it'll say Batman Imposter. So that first DC will say Batman, and then under that will be DC Black Label, Batman the Imposter. If you know, you know. That's just how I'm going to do it when I finally get it done. Next up, I'm really enjoying this line, and I am loving this cover. This would make a perfect poster. This is Batman Catwoman. And this is issue 8. Check that out. That is pretty freaking sweet. So much so like that, it would be good to see Catwoman on the side there. Uh, but this is still a pretty neat cover nonetheless. Alright, next up we have The Flash. DC Comics 774. This is regular cover. And look at that. It looks pretty nice. Again, I don't remember why I got this cover because for me, uh, which is makes the best sense, at least for me. Maybe not everybody, but it makes the much as most sense for me. Is I get my books every three weeks because it's just easier for me. So I just get these offline from Comic Asylum Palm Desert in California. Next up, this is Harley Quinn issue seven. This is a variant cover, and this definitely looks pretty sweet. At first, I thought this was Beast Boy, um, but I have not read this title, so I really don't know. But further examination of it, it's basically a plant-like dog, which still looks pretty cool. Definitely like the way she is dressed. Um, not so much how she looks. But I believe her name is The Gardener, and obviously that's Harley Quinn. Next up, we have original cover of Fear State Harley Quinn, issue 7. Now, this artwork looks a little bit better. I'm kind of back and forth with it. Like, I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Uh, but, it, I mean, it, it works, obviously. I like the way the bear looks. Um... Not so, not so much Quinn, but, I mean, there's bits and pieces of it that I like. I like it enough that I got it. Next up, we have issue 8 of DC's The Joker. Check that out. Now, um, this is another title I have not been reading uh, because I'm trying to, like, let it go up to, like, a certain amount of issues, as Fire Guy Ryan likes to say. Um, he likes to get three or four issues uh, in and then binge them all, uh, read them all together. Um, and to me, this is looking like a, uh, a different Bane, like the female version of Bane. Just Next up, we have 775 of The Flash. Now, I got this title because I really like the cover. It reminds me uh, so much of the... Um, I 
I can't think of the issue, but I know Fire Guy Ryan will know this issue off the top of his head. Uh, and his green lantern with the um, lantern rings. And he's going like this, kind of. So I think this is really, really cool. Um, again, this is probably, I'm hoping this is a first issue or a, a first appearance uh, of either a person, a place, um, you know, a personality, uh, character design, uh, costume, whatever it could be. Because um, I don't remember why I got this one. Uh, other than the picture, because it looked cool. Next up, we have Batman. Uh, we have Fear State Batman. This is 116. Uh, it's also featuring the Batgirls. Now, this just alone would be a great poster. You get rid of the Batman and the Fear State, and the two logos right here, and all obviously this, and this would be a perfect perfect poster i mean it would be a perfect poster like it is but you take those out and it'd probably look even better all right from fear state batman we have issue 115 and also featuring the bat girls sorry i would have done this in order but i thought i had them in order uh correctly and not reverse so this is looking like a pretty good tile. I believe his name or its name is Peacekeeper. Uh, I get him confused with Peacemaker because uh, I go back and forth with the name. And next up is 114. And see, there you go. Peacekeeper X versus Peacekeeper 01. So obviously I don't know this story, but all you need is um, Peacemaker in there and I'd be even more confused. But we'll see what happens. Oh. Last and last is 113 of Batman Fear State. This is also featuring the Clown Hunter, as it says right there. I don't think books really need to say that on the outside. Maybe just show it on the inside. And when you're looking up the comic, yes, have the description of who's in the book. But it doesn't, in my opinion, need to be on the front in words like that. All right, then we got... Issue 9 of The Joker. Now, a lot's going on here. And again, I don't know. So this is Issue 1 of Task Force Z. Now, th to me, this feels like DC's version of Marvel. But I remember, just now, after I said the Marvel, that this is, like, I guess, I hope another... Uh, DC Comics Deceased. I'll find out when I read it. Alright, from there we have a Future State uh, Gotham 6. Now look at that. That is a pretty sweet cover. I have no idea who this character is. Doesn't look like spoiler unless it's like the new Batgirl. I have no idea. Orphan, don't know. All right, next up we have is Fear State Batman Detective Comics 1044. This is also featuring Arkham Rising. I have no idea if that's a character or a place or an event. I have no idea, but look at this cover. It looks pretty sweet. Definitely reminds me of Sorrow from the Justice League comic as well as the Suicide Squad. From there we have Suicide Squad Issue 8. Now every time I see this guy, which if you don't know who that guy is, that is Ambush Bug. Now when I see Obviously, the powers are different. Next up we have Issue 6 of RWBY Justice League. And there you go, you got Starro on the very front. Kind of a somewhat homage to the Justice League comic I was saying, talking about. Next up, your state, Harley Quinn, issue 8. I like this art style a little bit better. Not by much, but it still looks pretty sweet nonetheless. Alright, next up we have issue 7 of RWBY, Justice League. There you go, you got Star uh, Starro on the front, and look, all of them got stars on their face. Kind of reminds me of Chris Statlander from AEW's Women Division. Last but not least, I hope I have issue one of this. 
This is DC Comics's The Order of the World Arkham City, if I pronounce that correctly. This is a two of six uh, book series that DC has put out. We'll see how that goes. More eBay uh, comics. All right, so before I had just one eBay comic. This is a correction because I found my little stack of other eBay uh, books that I got. First up, we have Batman Secret Files Peacekeeper-01, number one. And this is a pretty sweet cover. I actually forgot I had this cover until I looked down and moved my newest current stack and I saw this puppy. So this cover looks amazing. Again, I'm always saying that some of these comic book covers look so good that they should be posters and I mean that. This should be a poster because this looks amazing. Alright, next up I have Bash Batman the Audio Adventure Special Issue 1. I have no idea how this one is going to be, but it got me interested because it said the audio adventures. So I'm hoping, is this a book that's mostly just sound effects and you have to picture in your mind what the sound is? Will it actually have, you know, uh, word bubbles? But them speaking, is it going to be the speaking of inside their head or out loud? Next up, I have Nubula and the Amazons issue one. I believe this is a variant cover, and this cover looks amazing. Would have liked to have seen her in the Wonder Woman 84, even just for like a moment. Uh, and if they did show for a moment, then she was part of the other uh, warriors that were in the opening scene. So, nonetheless, I think this would be a great cover. And this just hit me. This would be a great uh, relationship. Black Manta and Nubula as a couple. Look at this Black Manta variant cover, issue 2, by DC Comics. This kind of poster you get rid of the people on the side and maybe the trees this cover looks amazing all right all right then from the last DC book I have is Justice League of America JLA classified this is cold steel book one um, now I got this one pretty cheap uh, I mostly wanted it because I've seen this before but I've just never read it and the more I looked at it, it was like the the Trinity, there we go, the Trinity uh, is always Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. I could think of three other people, but, you know, that's just me. Last up, we have a Marvel book. I got this because I really like the cover, and I'm trying not to do that as much. And this is Meet the New Iron Man, question mark. This is Shang-Chi, issue five. That cover looks sweet. And in general, the movie, if you haven't seen Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, honestly, what are you doing? Watch that movie. You need to watch the movie because it is awesome. And it has one of my favorite actors since I saw him in uh, Kim's Convenience Store in a brief, like, barely five minutes of the sci-fi adventure show Dark matter which was also a comic book sadly spoiler alert uh, a warning he did die in the movie uh but so did uh appa and uma so she died too look at that that's nice all right guys if you've come to the end of this video thank you for watching it from the beginning intro to the comic book stack that I had for you to the outro that is thank you thank you for that please leave a comment if you think it was good please leave a comment if you think it was bad don't write any negative uh, hateful stuff or just like add stuff that's just I don't want that if you feel you should share it with a friend uh, or mention it to somebody else who has a comic book 
um, platform, please do. Um, it would be grateful to hear some insight, good or bad. Uh, I have an idea what the bad might be. But it's always good to at least hear from somebody else.